The vendor balance report shows each vendor's opening and outstanding balances along with transactions your company had with its vendors over a time span covered by the report. The report displays each vendor's opening balances as the start date of the report and outstanding balances as the end date of the report. The total amount of all invoices issued for a given period is calculated for each vendor, amount debit, as well as the total amount of all purchase invoices paid to the vendor and the amount returned to the vendor due to debit notes issued, amount credit. For each vendor, total amounts and balances are sorted, grouped by currencies, and are shown in a vendor's currency and in your system currency. The report retrieves data from the purchase journal. The balance vendor report displays the list of vendors before whom your company either had some liability as of the report start date or with whom your company has had purchase transactions during the report date range. For each vendor presented, the report provides further details about accounts involved in purchase transactions carried out during the given period. For each account, you can find purchase invoices which triggered transactions being recorded in. To access the mentioned details, you have to navigate the report by drilling down from higher levels of data presentation to their sublevels. Total balances and amounts are displayed at each level of the report and at the grand total level. If no data is available for certain levels, nothing is displayed for them. While moving to sublevels of the report, total amounts and balances are broken down into the amounts comprising the final total of the higher level. In this video, we will show you how to generate vendor balance. In the header area, provide a date range and a name for the report. To generate the report according to the indicated parameters and predefined report settings, click the Build button in the toolbar area. The data is grouped by vendor and then by invoice. As a result, a three-level hierarchy is formed with links between levels being of the parent-child type. To see sublevel details in the generated report, you have to drill down to lower levels. For more details on grouping data in reports, see Grouping Report Data. The default grouping settings are defined in the Rows section of the Basic Vendor Balance Report. To define the groupings, the fields have been added by which data in the report has to be grouped by rows. However, you can change the predefined settings and choose how to group data by yourself. To do that, Click the Customize button. Use the Rows section to view and customize the default groupings. You can delete, rearrange, and add new fields to the section by which you want to group data. To add fields for grouping in the Rows section, click the Select an Option box, and then select a field by which you want to group data from the list of options. Use the Columns section to view and customize the default groupings. As with Groupings by Rows, in the Columns section, you add fields by which you want to group data. The set of fields available for grouping data by columns is the same as for grouping data by rows. In the Values section, click the Select an Option box and then select a summable field from the list of options. Click the Build button to view the report according to the parameters that you have selected. Once you are done, click Save. 